Ladies and gentlemen, Dr. Hammer, and I'm back with another video. I'm finally back with another video, man. Yes, I am. And today we have early access to an Speed 0.7 content update. Shout out to Steel City Interactive for giving me this a little bit earlier than you guys. So I can go ahead and showcase some of the stuff that they're going to be cooking with in here, man. All right, so here we go, man. So what am I going to be showing y'all first? So I want to make a whole video specifically about the character customization and the creator and all that. I want to make that its own video. So I'm not going to go too into depth on what we got in there, but I am going to show you my first calf that I was able to make, which is Jerome Boots Ennis. Uh, it's just my rendition of trying to make him. Uh, it was pretty fun, I will admit. I'm not really an offline like, slash uh, like customization uh, dude. I'm usually most like online. Competitive fighting is more of what I find enjoyable, but somehow I got sucked into being in this creator for almost almost three hours to keep it a buck. This was some hard work, but this is my Boots Ennis. This is what I decided to go ahead and try to replicate in the creator. I think it came out pretty good. I like what I'm seeing right here. You know, I tried to uh, basically rip off one of his fight kits. One of his actual fights, which was that pink and white that was looking so clean. And this is what I came up with, man. So we're going to take this Jerome Boots Ennis into an actual fight. So I can showcase that over the shoulder camera angle that a lot of people want to see. Let's do it. All right, here we go. So let's go ahead and get to Boots Ennis. So as you guys will see right here, here I am. You're on Boots Ennis, looking right there. It would be nice to get the Boots nickname in there because I'm very particular about my calves. I want Boots Ennis, you know, to be Boots Ennis. So I need Boots as a nickname, man. Come on now. At least let me put in Boots there or something, you know what I mean? So but we're going to get Jerron Ennis right there. And as you guys can see, we now have customization for taunts, shorts, gloves, boots, and a lot of different things right here that I, I'm pretty sure they're going to flesh out uh, going forward. But these are some of the taunts I have set right here. As you guys can see, some new ones in here that I will showcase during the fight. Uh, you can also choose a ring walk song, which is actually pretty dope. I cannot lie. For me, it is run. Uh, but I select that. And then also, you guys can see, this is the interesting part I think is going to be bigger going like going forward, which is like, as you guys see right now, it's just the alternate. So if you ever mirror matched online, you would have already seen the majority of these kits. If you want to see something that you probably haven't seen yet, I would find somebody like a George Davey who you've probably never fought and look at his alternates, uh, which is a little bit more comparable to seeing something like new. But a lot of the like Canelo's and Terrence Crawford's, Sugar Ray Leonard, you've already seen those colors. So you might find something interesting. If you look like a Michael McKenzie, for example, look at his alternate kit. He might have something clean. Like that's pretty clean. I like that alternate right there. That's a plain, that's a clean alternate, but yeah, just so you guys know, like you've probably seen a lot of the alternate uh, colors already, but you might see something new if you look for a lesser known boxer. And we're going to fight Dalton Smith in this in this video. So let's go ahead and give him the red joints. Yeah. Can't change his boots yet. He got them on me. He got some things on though. I'll give him that. We can change up his taunts if we wanted to. Don't really need to in this uh, instance. we will give him a heart of a fighter. Heart of a fighter. A bona fide fighter if you would. All right, let's go ahead and do it, man. Let's go to the new venue. I mean, I really like Mickey Ward. Actually, no, let's go to Mickey Ward. So let's put this on Undisputed. We'll leave everything else the same. And let's see if we're challenged uh, with the Undisputed AI with Dalton Smith. Now, I have played one match prior to this where I feel like the AI was throwing a little bit more. I don't know if it's there to a point where I say, like, it's a big improvement. Probably not. But we'll go ahead and see. So as you guys can see, this is the over the shoulder camera angle. Now there's a couple different disclaimers I would put on to this camera angle if you're using it. One, this is experimental. Oh my God. Yeah. This is an experimental camera angle. So there's definitely gonna be some things that might be off with this though, as it's getting flushed out. So just keep that in mind. But I would highly suggest you take your time using this camera angle. This is going to make it a, di a more difficult fight for you if that's what you like, right? For me personally, I like this angle because it's, it's a little bit different and it's a lot more difficult to kind of manage my distance and also move uh, laterally and kind of maintain like, you know, looking right at my opponent, being on that center line. I think right there, he just, he's ducking, he's, he's doing some stuff now. Previously, they were a little stagnant. He's trying to do some stuff. He's switching into loose movement. We still gonna crack him with that counter jab though. And I don't know if you guys know this, what punch that I have on uh, Boots Ennis right here, but I got him with that George Davey punch set. If you all watched me before, you know I love George Davey in this game. Oh, come here. Oh, he's lucky. You know I love George Davey in this game. So the moment I saw that, you yeah, I put this punch set. Oh, oh, he's tweaking. He's gassed. He's tweaking. But he's still punching. Oh, we got to cut. We got to cut. We got to cut. 
So you can see right there, that would be a time to take advantage of him gassing out right there. But unfortunately, I was gassing myself, so I couldn't do too much there. But I'm not gonna lie to you guys, when I first, when I usually see camera angles like this, I think it's like mostly gimmicky. No one's really gonna use it to fight, actually. I do actually enjoy using this camera angle, I must say. I really do. There is, I think, the issue for me so far with this camera angle, the biggest one, is when you get a rock. The way the camera shifts, it looks kind of awkward to me. I, I would rather they fix that. Also, you might notice we're moving too much. It might look like it's it's like glitched out a little bit when he like realigns. So that's also something else that they could probably work on. Outside of that, though, I do like this camera. I like the direction of this camera angle. I'll say that. It makes you feel more in the fight, I will say. Like, <laughs> I don't know if you guys played those old Fight Night games, whichever one where you were like in the first person view, like... Thank God we don't have that. We don't need that in this game. Thank God. Like, that was something where it was, like, gimmicky. Like, no one's ever going to use that, right? But something like this, I can definitely see people using... Oh, my God. He's trying to unload. Shut up, gang. I'm trying to have an actual video here. He's just trying to spark me out. But we already got that cut from that jab. I'm really happy with the options in the character creator. Oh, my God. Get peace. Oh, my. But, yeah. I think you guys will enjoy this camera angle. I think it's actually pretty well done. Hey, yo. Why he looked like someone's about to jump up. He's looking outside the ring like he thought someone's coming over the top rope. Thought that was Roman Reigns about to have the, the Usos come out and, and jump a man. Oh my. But yeah, I, I, I like this angle a lot. It just makes me feel like I'm really just in there, you know what I mean? And I think it also depends on the style of fight that you like to do as well. Because you, you'll notice I'm fighting pretty tactically, not moving a ton. If you're someone who likes to move a lot and lose movement, it's probably not going to be the camera angle for you. It's going to make it pretty tough. Like if I go into lose movement right now, I just start moving around. You probably notice like it's it's kind of tough to keep track of things. Actually, they kind of it's, it's not actually too bad. I thought it would be worse. It's not too bad, honestly. But it's still gonna be tougher in the moment when you're throwing punches, especially diagonal punch or directional punches, things like that. It's it's gonna be a little bit tough. But I highly suggest people check it out when the update goes live for everybody. Oh yeah, that's me. That's me. Hey hey hey. Oh oh oh. Oh, I didn't think I was going to put him out like that. Well, you can see this, this is actually fun. Like, I'm enjoying using my calf against another boxer offline. And I'm not a big offline guy. I'll rightfully admit it. I'm not a big offline guy, which is why I was so surprised that I actually spent so much time in the character creator to actually make this calf. So that just tells me that the people who really like that stuff, that it should be enough there for people to really enjoy it. And I'm gonna, like I said, I'm going to make a whole separate video basically showcasing uh making a calf from scratch so you'll see the options and how much in depth you can really get with it i think coach already has a video out about his and so does jmma so definitely check them out if you guys haven't already i'm sure juice has dropped something too so make sure you guys check them out actually yeah i know for sure juice has dropped something so make sure y'all check them out as well man it seems like there's a lot of hype in the community for things like this oh my god jesus I'm telling you, it's just a clean, it's just a clean camera angle and it makes, especially like with the Philly show and everything, you just feel real clean when you get counter shots and stuff like that. Like I would have loved to knock him out right there. I don't know why he got back up. He's trying to ruin my video, but it's all right, gang. I spent way too much time in the Discord talking to people instead of making this video. But I, I just get excited when I see the people excited, man. You know, I, I, I could have just went straight to making a YouTube video about this stuff, but I just get excited seeing the people excited. So I was trying to be in the answering questions and showing people different stuff before I made this video. So, you know, the, the community, like the YouTube community is one thing, don't get me wrong too, but the community and the discord for the game, the people will be, be in their day in and day out, just hoping we get something good, you know, hoping we can get improvements to the game. You know, it, it's, it's for those, for them as well. You know what I mean? So it, it was important to me to be able to get in there, especially when they uh, told us we can actually post gameplay and things like that. It was important for me to get in there and like just showcase some of this stuff for those guys. And oh my God, this is, Dalton Smith is getting smoked. Hopefully this don't happen against Zepeda, but he's getting some, oh my goodness. He's cooked. He's cooked. And I hope he gets back up because I just realized I never showed one taunt in this fight. I'm hoping he makes it back up. I don't think he's going to. I hope he does. Please, 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 please. Oh yes, yes. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. I totally forgot to showcase the taunts. That's on me. That's on me. I got y'all though. I'm gonna show y'all some of the new taunts that uh, I have on Blue Tennis right here. So this is one right here. 
You might know, recognize this one from the one of the original trailers. That Connor Ben joint right there. Oh, hold on, he's trying to take advantage of me. Chill out, gang. Okay. Yeah, that one right there. That's a new one right there. That's also in there. This one right here. Actually, I switched stands. I'm tweaked. This one right here. That's also another new one. And then I think, okay, there's that one right there as well. And you'll see there's some variations there, but I'll go into that when I go into the, oh my God. Like, this is just a clean angle. Like, it really is. Now you really feel like you're doing something. He's going to get crushed by this power cross. Oh, I miss. Jab out. Jab out. Oh, he's cooked though. You can tell. Look at just looking at him. He's cooked. See if I can get one of them joints in there. Those are hard to pull off as well on this camera angle. The diagonal dodges. It's very, very interesting pulling those off. See if I can get a good uppercut in here. From this angle. My brother's tweaking. Like he, he talking like he had in the fight. A good game? I tried to hit that uppercut. Ooh, down to the body. That one hurt him. He felt that. Missed the uppercut. Gain a little bit of our stand back, but we don't have a high overall boxer. So we gotta be careful still. There goes that clinch. That clinch that obviously needs work. Like I said, it's still a work in progress. Okay, until the day that final that final full release comes out, everything work in progress, gang. I'm hey, keep hope alive. Jesse Jackson. You doing you can tell the calf is doing a good job or the CPU is doing a good job of evading a lot of these strikes as well. Uh, I still wouldn't say this is too hard of a- Oh my god. Hey, my, okay, my bad, gang. I put respect on you. I thought he had nothing left in the tank. Power? Mm, no. I thought he had nothing left in the tank. He's showing me a little something. Okay, hey, that's good. That's good. And <clears throat> The more gameplay with this camera angle, the better for everybody who can really see how it is working with it. But I highly suggest you use small steps and move. don't move too much when you're using this camera angle. You can keep your opponent in front of you and kind of gauge that distance, right? Because distance management is probably the toughest thing on this camera angle. So you really need to know like proper management, especially for countering and stuff like that. Proper distance is going to be very important. Hey, okay. Yeah, now he's getting cooked again. Hey, 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 hey. Yeah, come here, Dalton. Come here. Hey, hey, hey. Back up a little bit. Hey, ooh. I don't know why it feels like I'm doing more impact. I don't know what it is. It feels like that's more impactful. Mm. I want to hit him with this uppercut so bad. Let's go back to his body. Try to bait him. Go hook. Oh, he wanted to clinch. Yeah, negative. Ooh, good uppercut. Oh, that was a good combination. Oh, my. Oh, hold on. Let's get nasty in there. Hold on. Mmm. Mmm, there's the uppercut. Oh, he looks startled. He looks, he looks startled. Hey, we'll let him recover a little bit. I want to get a little bit more work on him. Oh, actually, never mind. Look, he's about to go out. Oh, brother. Oh, brother. Get those extra punches on the ground. Yeah, I had to get those extra punches in. Hey, Fight Night 2004 is my favorite fight night, so we all know about them extra punches in that game. I'm trying to bring that back to life. Sue me. And that should do it. Perfect ending to this video. I hope you guys enjoyed this video showcasing the over the shoulder camera angle. I really like it, honestly, I really do. It's it still needs some work in my opinion in certain aspects, but I think it's gonna be a camera angle that people will actually enjoy playing. So that, that's really what it comes down to, right? Like this is something that people will actually use and actually enjoy. It. And I me personally, I think it is. I think it's pretty cool. I like it. I will definitely be using it more in the future. Uh, and when I do my career mode videos, I will probably be using it in that as well, honestly. I might just do that the entire time. That might just be its own separate thing. I'm still still debating how I'm gonna do that, but you know, that is what it is, right? I might do a whole separate career just only using that angle and do a regular career first. But we'll see how that goes, man. Let me know what you guys think in the comment section down below. And let me know what you guys want to see as well, man. Because there's a lot of things that is going on in this update. So let me know what you guys want to see. And I will make videos. I will show you guys the things you want to see. So until next time, I've been your host, Darkseid. Take it easy.